Bucha. A small city for the last decade, desirable residential area due to its proximity to Kiev and relatively tranquility compared to the capital. It has been popular among people working in Kiev looking for a quieter living conditions close to the capital. In 2022, Bucha gained international attention due to tragic events during the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Russia is committing genocide. Horrible images. Hundreds of bodies and mass graves. The events in Bucha has become symbolic of the broader conflict and have significantly impacted the city's identity and the international perception of the conflict. Uh, two years back, I have been in this city and I was showing you destruction. I, were, um, I was exactly one month after um, it became free from Russians and uh, by that time was already many things cleared and uh, removed and uh, fast restored. But for sure the, um, the, the core destruction, the destruction of the buildings, uh, uh, it was all there. Now, two years after I returned, and I couldn't believe my eyes to recognize that areas because the areas changed so much. Two years ago, the residential buildings bore clear signs of artillery shelling and explosions. The damage was extensive, affecting not just windows and glass, but also the core structure of the buildings. Today, if you look at these buildings, you would never guess that there was anything had happened. They appear brand new, seemingly unaffected by the war. The neighboring building had suffered even more significant damage. When I first saw it, I couldn't imagine it could be restored. It was completely devastated and seemed unsafe even to touch it, at least as per my opinion. So it was very surprising to see that it now looks like a modern attractive house. One could hardly imagine how it could look before the restoration. Just the stairs remind that something was happening here. Then I moved over the street, curious to see the pharmacy, which I remember had completely destroyed. It had a burning smell, I still remember it, and seemed to have taken a direct hit from a bomb. And wow, what a pleasant surprise it was to see. It is looking nice and modern as nothing had ever happened, and you cannot imagine the destiny <laughs> which passed this pharmacy, right? Sure, if you look at this building today, it's not as perfect as the previous one that I showed you. Uh, the glass in the windows has been replaced. But the business is still undergoing restoration. Here you can still find signs of destructions that haven't been erased in two years. But what to say guys, I am uh, impressed. Uh, it's very great to see such progress. I'm very happy that first people uh, got their houses rebuilt, um, that it was possible at all, with all economical problems and so on. So that's a very great sign and I'm very happy. And uh, I didn't know the city. Uh, maybe if I would know, I would find even more things built already there. All these buildings, they used to be a Soviet one. But now you can see how much um, they totally renewed them and the city will look very modern all.
soon. So in Soviet Union there was uh, some kind of tradition, I'm not sure how to call it, where they used to put uh, tanks almost in every city as a symbol of uh, victory in the Second World War. And I was actually calculating recently how many tanks all over the Soviet Union was put it into all this kind of like um, on display that I'm sure it could be the whole big army even. Anyway, uh, I see that in some cities they already removed during this war Russian tanks, Soviet tanks. I mean, and in Bucha I found a new thing. Here is Ukrainian one from this war, the newer one. And they place it here on display. It seems it's a new tradition. I'm very happy to see that those houses are getting rebuilt. So they're not, uh, this house, as I remember, wasn't really destroyed, I mean, uh, with a shelling. I just remember there was um, windows uh, broken, like because of the, the wave of explosion, most likely. But anyway, uh, I guess they are restoring the windows, plus they're making insulation, they're painting them. They're making them all over itself nice because there is also a lot of other Soviet buildings like that. But this one is exactly is not getting yet restored. But all others in the same line, they are. And that's nice because the city will look super modern, super nice. So they are rebuilding something, plus they are making it much better even as it used to be. So now I will show you. So here is the one that I was telling you, the Soviet one. You can even notice there were, I guess, shrapnel most likely. And even this, I believe that's the, the signs of something that it affected it. But this one is not yet under restoration or it will not be, I guess it will be restored as well. But exactly then the one next to him and the one next to him and the one next to him, I believe they will be all restored. It's already looking brand new all great, all nice looking, all insulated, so citizens will benefit even out of general uh, uh, elevation of their lifestyle of living conditions. And yeah, here also it seems like they're gonna be, yeah, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna change and put all insulation here as well. And we'll make it nice like this. That's great. It is here, so that's before and that's after. Great. Actually here they describe what they was doing. They was uh, making it and they started in the third quarter 2023 and they should finish uh, and they finish it in fourth quarter. So they actually just reinforce, as per what they are saying, reinforce the the core uh, structure of the building. I guess because it were affected, and behind I see there is buildings also new. So that's the the point. I was particularly interested in seeing the destroyed building of the hypermarket, which is the most well-known brand in Ukraine, akin to Home Depot in the U.S. These guys have the resources, they have money, so I was curious to see their approach. And indeed, they demolished everything and are rebuilding the entire shop from scratch. It looks massive, actually. Also, I found modular housing for people who lost their homes during the invasion and it was built by, it was donated by Polish organization. Bucha has undergone so many changes over the past two years that a single video can't cover it all if you want to look at the details. Next time I will show you the second part, focusing on what happened to the another residential building and how was the street which was completely devastated by tanks looks today. So please don't forget to subscribe to ensure that you don't miss these mind-blowing videos.